this is my old GTP that I did a Cadillac North Star transmission swap in. Um, I'm going to take you through the details of some of the things that the threads uh, online do not show you. The only real tools that you're going to need are, is a welder and a grinder to make your own mounts, 316 steel. You set the engine back about an inch, enough to clear the steering rack, then you make the exhaust fit, and then once you have it in the car, you make sure you have fan clearance. This is the difference in what both transmissions look like. As you can see, the 4T80 on the left is much bigger. And managing the position of the engine and transmission on the subframe is key to getting this to fit. So in order to get the transmission and the engine together, you have to grind part of the bell housing off on the engine block to get it to mate. After you get the assembly together, you can mock it up on your subframe like this. I used a front, the front mount is from a Bonneville uh, H-body, and then my side mount, I base it off of a 4L ADE uh, energy suspension mount. Here's a detailed view of the side mount fully welded. I tied the tail housing to the engine in as well. Note that you have to remove the knock sensor and just put a plug in the block. Tail housing needs some light clearancing. There's some numbers in the casting. Basically, if you uh, flap disc those numbers off and go a little bit more, it'll be enough to clear the motor mount. This is a 311 gear ratio transmission, and HP tuners needs to be used to adjust the gear ratio to get it to shift. how to get lock up to work with the factory computer yet. I'm told that other people have done it. I just haven't gotten that far. This shifts a little bit stronger than a normal AD. Um, I'd advise not drilling a separator plate like I did just feel it out. Uh, the neat thing about this style transmission is you can pull the valve body from the bottom. You don't have to uh, drop the cradle and pull the side cover. It's really easy to service all the solenoids and you know, make adjustments. We'll do a short pull here. shifts like normal and it actually feels well it doesn't actually feel any heavier than it is than it was the ADE is a lot heavier than the 65 so with the swap you can use the stock caddy axles they're actually bigger than the stock Grand Prix axles they have more splines too another thing with the earlier uh, cars that have the external neutral safety switch. You can grind a flat on the uh, gear selector shaft and clock that switch so that you can plug it in. Um, the uh, light that indicates a gear on the dash lines up with the shifter and the shifter you know lines up with all the detents. Everything works like it should. That's all factory GTP stuff. Bracket that holds the shift cable. I did an overlay with the um, uh, the old bracket, welded it in, had to uh, move it a little bit. Can't remember if it was forward or backwards, but basic stuff. Just slot the holes so you can move it forward or backwards to get your um, cable to line up. 
bit of research with all data just to make sure that this car um, followed similar logic and I you know, did a lot of homework on my part and I figured out a strategy to make it work. I used a relay to invert the 2-3 shift logic. There's actually a, a way to change the software to um, change the, the logic internally in the computer, but I didn't know that at the time. So this is the way I did it. Another thing you have to worry about is the torque converter. Uh, you can use a factory North Star torque converter, but you have to drill um, drill holes in your flex plate, or you can call up uh, Precision, give them your measurements, and they will make a converter for you. And here are some bonus pictures of some of the other details. Yes, I retain my AC. You have to move the accumulator dryer a little bit, adjust the bracket, adjust the uh, switch position. I bought some AC line compression fittings. Uh, there is absolutely no factory harness extension with this. It's just the jumper that is installed and uh, the pigtail that hangs out of the transmission needs to be secured properly. It comes very close to the exhaust. For the folks seeking this information, I hope this is a valuable tool for you to use for your own swap. Uh, I haven't posted any of this stuff on any of the forums. Uh, this is the first time showing this information to everyone. Thanks for watching. Comments and questions are welcome. I can do my best to answer them.